Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Casey Neistat. Ha ha, I have half a beard. Just kidding. It's me, Casey McCollum, and I have no beard. <laughs> what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Casey's channel. If you're new here, subscribe. I recorded that intro yesterday, but you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm using it. So today, I'm going to be drawing a kawadi in MS Paint. And if you're asking yourself, what's a kawadi? I don't blame you because I forget what they look like. But I do remember that they were my favorite animal when I was like five. And I used to like to pretend that I was a kawadi and run around the zoo yelling, I'm a kawadi. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, here we are in MS Paint and let's begin. So I'm gonna need an image to reference for this because I cannot remember what they look like. Well, I kind of can't. They have these long little snouts and like they I, like lemur tails. I, I'm gonna I'm I'm get a I'm gonna get a reference pick. Boom, there it is. Okay, um, let's resize this a little bit. Oh shoot! I, ah, okay, there we go. Did I squash it? Oh, I squashed it. Oops. Hold on. So let's start with the head. Yo, what if I made this Kawadi look like Tom Nook from Animal Crossing? I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing lately. So, I mean, we'll see. He kind of looks like Tom Nook a little bit. Get the eyes in there. Oh, he looks angry. He looks really mad. Let me fix, fix that in post. You know what? We're just going to go with it right now. Let's give him a little glisten in the eye here. And then paint bucket time. Oh, Jesus. This app. Oh, okay. Good enough. Good enough. All right. Body time. If anyone was interested, I've been watching More Chopped lately. And they... I, I watched an episode recently. I think it was called... I can't remember what it was called. The whole episode had to do with moms, though. Oh, oh, that's what it was called. Momumental. And they got four moms to cook their dishes for the chopped judges. And the hosts, Ted, 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 the host, could not stop talking just about the fact that they were moms. Like, every sing after every single round, he would be like, shout out to our moms for cooking this stuff shout out to moms everywhere and listen moms deserve all the shout outs in the world they do but he shouted them out like 30 times during the episode which was basically like 30 minutes so that was like a mom a minute he was like look at the moms at the kitchen and then one of the one of the judges was like i don't care if they're moms or not i just want to know if their food is good and i didn't like that guy but Ted mentioned the fact that they were moms a lot. Okay, so Kawadis have really long tails. And they kind of look like lemur tails. Okay. Damn, this is this is going pretty well, actually. Very well, you might say. I'm kind of killing this right now. This is kind of amazing. So we need to add some flair, you might say, to the tail here. We need to get its little stripes in. That's that's the main thing. All right, we're gonna stripe it up right now. All right, now that we have the basis of the stripes, we fill them in with the paint bucket. You know, don't be shy, put some more. What, where does that phrase come from? I have no idea. It, it like, I was on TikTok and it was just like a clip of like James Charles being like, don't be shy, put some more. Don't be shy, put some more. <laughs> Put some more! <laughs> yeah, put some more! Don't be shy! And nobody on the internet seems to know what it means. They just say it. And I don't know what it means. So if somebody could please explain to me in the comments what don't be shy, put some more means. Or if it's just people are just saying don't be shy, put some more. I don't get it. Like, don't be shy, put some more. I don't get it. I don't get it. Speaking of TikTok, I used to be TikTok famous. You might know that. Well, you know. Not famous. If you consider 3,000 followers famous, then I was. But if you don't consider that famous, then I wasn't. I was on there and I did delete my account. But 
you can find one of my videos in a compilation called TikTok memes that made my wife divorce me, which stellar title. Um, but I'm in it and I'm also in the thumbnail. I'm in the thumbnail. I'm wearing a big, a big hat and I'm in it. So yeah, I guess you could say that I was famous. That compilation got like over a million views. So all right, now to continue this masterpiece. So it's got a little bit of little bit of orange on its chest, as we can see. So we're just gonna do this, right? Boom, this is called detail in art. We're messing around with artistic expression. I love colors. I love playing around with colors. And this is about as colorful as it gets. So buckle up, this is gonna be a colorful kawadi. We've neglected something this whole time. It's the kawadi's head. How could I have forgotten this? Okay, so it's got a little bit of gray up here. Oh, it's also got little gray boots. Keep that in mind. Keep the gray boots in mind. Remind me if I forget about them. Okay, so we're gonna make its little snout. We're gonna make its little snout black, and then we're gonna use the gray for the f for part of the face. Okay, beautiful. That looks better than I thought it was even gonna look because I thought it was gonna look bad. Now we need to add a little bit of fur to its back, just for some for some roughness, some coarseness some flair you might say but i've been saying flair a lot so i was looking for new words that this is this looks incredible gray boots gray boots we need that next well i have to say i think i nailed it i think that they should make a netflix show called the kawadi king about somebody who likes kawadis speaking of the kawadi king or rather you know tiger king Everyone forgot about that show. We all watched it. We all talked about it for like a week. And then we just forgot about it. Like Joe Exotic's like in jail right now. That's crazy. That's his life. That's crazy. But we all just kind of forgot. Like no one's talked about Tiger King in like the past few weeks. After it came out, everyone's teachers were on Zoom like, oh, hey, all you cool cats and kittens. But now there's nothing. I haven't heard about Tiger King in a hot, hot minute. This is frankly beautiful. And I am wondering if I should draw this little rock at its feet, or is that a piece of wood? I don't know. It's one of the two. Should I draw it? No, you know what? This is my drawing, my style. That's a reference picture, but we don't have to go off the reference. That is an important tenant of art. Use a reference, but don't be beholden to it. Open your mind to your own artistic vision and follow through with it. Sometimes we need to move past the reference and move in to our own soul. With that being said, I'm gonna get rid of the reference. This is gonna take a minute. Just give me one second, I gotta erase it. Oh wait, I, I can just use the selection tool. Okay, that was easier, but that's, a, that's the learning process. We need to give it an environment, something different from the environment that was in the reference photo. But the issue I have is, oh God, no, I don't wanna zoom in, I wanna zoom out. How do I zoom out? It's okay, it's fine. This is art. This is the, oh, I found it, I found it. It's a little slider. Okay, so our quaddy's kinda near the top right now, so I'm gonna select it and I'm just gonna move it here. And I think that this kawadi should live in the tundra. Yep, it should live in the Arctic tundra. Okay, let's start by drawing the ground. Oh, you know what we'll do? We're gonna move our kawadi up. Then we're gonna go back to brushes and draw its environment so that we can later drag the kawadi back down into its environment. You gotta use wide strokes to construct the ground, right? Wide strokes, class, wide strokes. I could, I would, <laughs> I would stand on this ground. I would. This is a ground that I would gladly rest my feet on while I am walking. Now we need to draw the grass, which we will later cover with ice because it is a tundra. Even though I don't, think kawadis actually live in tundras but it's okay because this one does 
ice time. Let's see, maybe let's use a new brush. Let's use a new brush. This is the Arctic ice because we're in the tundra. Yup, yup. This, this is like the, the ice. This is just amazing. This is like an ice kingdom. This quad is lucky. He lives in the coolest place ever. We need to draw the sun rising up on the horizon. We're gonna use some cool, some cool colors here. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. And its rays are going everywhere. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I think it's about time that we bring the Kawadi back into its habitat that it belongs in. Oh no, there's a white background. I didn't know that. Um, Good, good. That looks good. That looks awesome. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. Wow. We need to make it a little darker if it's going to be nighttime. We just need to add the stars for the starry night sky. I didn't make him look like Tom Nook. I kind of regret it. But, you know, Tom Nook is not a kawadi. He's a something. I've been I've been very into Animal Crossing lately. A lot, lot of playing that. I just finished um, building the houses for the new island residents. So things are just going awesome. It's going great. Oh my God. I didn't think we could top last time. I didn't think we could top the turtle. But we just did. There's one more thing we need to do though. We need to give this little rascal a name. So let's do it. Charles the Kawadi. Hey everybody, it's Editor Casey, and I just wanted to say I spelled Kawadi wrong, and I, re I realize it. It's spelled with a C, not a K. That's it for my Kawadi drawing tutorial. I hope today you all learned what a Kawadi is, and you learned how to draw it, because it was a very thorough step-by-step -step process. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to smash the like button, obliterate the subscribe button, and comment down below. Tell me, what do you think I should draw next? Well, how do you think you would have drawn the Kawadi? Would you have made it green? Let me know in your thoughts below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.